good morning, five o'clock in the morning. I still got my crown. To be the best, you got to beat the best, and you ain't beat me yet. And this for Brandon Scott. This for Jack Young. Jack called me like two, three times yesterday when they seen these videos. I'm getting ready to blow. I, I already blew the whistle on y'all. Delegate Sheila Roof got my whistleblowers application. Delegate Vanessa Attenbury got my paperwork. I took a picture with Vanessa Attenbury last year of her reading my, my complaint. So she already got my complaint, and the names is on it. Marilyn Mosby on it. It's a breakdown. In the event of my death, if something happened to me, the fight will go on. I left a blueprint. Matter of fact, I put it all on film. See, a camera don't lie. White people do. And white people love to lie on black people. And the worst thing a white person do is to admit that they did something wrong to a black man. I'm a black Republican. I'm a black radical Republican. I joined the Republican Party to make you address racism. I started a documentary in 2006. Governor O'Malley, Get Shorty. I got 14 movies. Y'all got 14 ghosts. It's been 14 years too long. This started in 2007. No, 2006. It's 2021. You locked me up in two different states, charged me with terrorism three times, and then you want to clown me and talk about Shorty, put your mask on? Shorty going to clown you and take your mask off. Same thing, make you laugh, make you cry. This videotape is evidence for the 2021 session, January 13th, 2021, this videotape is my videotape document, my videotape evidence for submission for the whistleblowers application under Senate Bill 374. I want Brian Frosch, Marilyn Mosby, and the state prosecutor to walk me to the grand jury to present my evidence against Governor O'Malley, Brandon Scott, Nick Mosby, Mayor Jack Young, and 52 members of Governor O'Malley's mom machine. I was making a movie. I was kidnapped. My property was stolen. Contact the FBI, the Department of Justice, and get my paperwork. But right now, look at your wake-up call. It's early in the morning. I'm an insomniac, so I'm going to break you down and show you where we at. Go to Rod Rosenstein. I told this is Rod Rosenstein. Brian Bates told it to Rod Rosenstein, and we turned in Bobby Zirkin, Roshini. Now, Nick Mosby been knowing about this since 2014. Nick Namosi, Marilyn Mosby, Kevin Bilal, the Maryland Black Caucus. Y'all want to y'all want to address white supremacy, but you don't want to address white supremacy in the Democratic Party. That's Martin Luther King. I applied for his job on February the 2nd, 2011. All right, occupying the courts. Now, that's my main witnesses, Kevin Davis. Kevin Davis, Melvin Russell, T.J. Smith, y'all my witnesses. Justin Fenton is a witness. The Baltimore Sun can't hide under the shielding law. Like I said, I went to the Capitol and I didn't break defense. I went to the Capitol with a toilet. I'm a black Republican and I didn't participate in the sedition. I gave y'all this long before they did it. President Obama asked for an investigation February the 8th, 2008. I'm the subject of the investigation and you ain't did it yet. You feel me? You ain't did it yet. You ain't did it yet. You ain't did it yet. We're talking about racism. I formed the Underground Railroad when I started this Shorty's Pit Beef and Underground Railroad on Falls Road. That's my store. You go to President Trump and you go to the Department of Justice, Mr. Barr. Y'all got my paperwork. Y'all had my paperwork for over a year. So I'm going to file criminal charges against the president as a private citizen for denying me my rights. We don't need another hero. We need to find our way home. I'm not a hero. I'm Shorty. And y'all can read about it in Heroes. All right. Like I said, I'm getting ready to serve y'all up. I'm getting ready to serve y'all up. We're going to talk about the Proud Boys from Canada and Trump. We're going to talk about Addie's party. And then we're going to talk about Brandon Scott. Pull your mask up. Dog, I'm getting ready to unmask you. Brandon Scott, Nick Mosby, Marilyn Mosby, the Maryland Black Caucus, City Hall. Y'all got all the pieces in place now. Everybody's sitting in their seats. So we're going to pull your card. When a federal and a state audit on Baltimore City and Baltimore County, your courts. I want to audit on Scott Schellenberger's office and Marilyn Mosby's office. We're going to count your money. Then we're going to occupy your courts. Judge Previs, Judge Holland, Judge Bell. We're going to check the money in your cases. This is the case that's going to give me Dred Scott. I am Dred Scott because y'all ain't had this case for two years and ain't did nothing about it. We're going to take you to make you do your job. The 13th District, the 13th Amendment.
Yeah, the 13th District, the 13th Amendment. The Civilian Review Board, all right? Victim of police misconduct. Yes, I am. I reported you, and you have my police misconduct. You got it. Harrison got it. Everybody got it, but you quiet as a church mouse. You want to talk about pull your mask up. Man, I'm going to pull your mask off. I'm going to pull your mask off. I'm going to pull your mask off because y'all want to protect Governor O'Malley. White supremacy in the Democratic Party. That's my Department of Justice number, October 2014. You have been signed to the ID number. That's my ID number for the Department of Justice. I've been policing the police since 1986. The war on drugs. You feel me? It's the art of protest. You had the information and you've been shielding the white supremacy. You've been shielding white supremacy. Legacy and memoirs. All right. You got that. We talking about Maryland. That's Trump. Right here. Justice Department. Equal justice. Judge talks out. Out. Federal lawsuit. I got a federal lawsuit. And you're on it. I got a federal lawsuit. And you're on it. I got a federal lawsuit. And you're on it. And you got my paperwork. Your office destroyed evidence. The Department of Justice has been shielding this corruption and racism. They protected Trump. Trump. They also protected Governor O'Malley. Governor O'Malley, this is your life. It took me, what, since 2006 to get here. I got videos, tapes where I put the camera in Governor O'Malley's face and he hauled ass. I put the camera in y'all's face and Sarbanes hauls ass. You feel me? This case right here is my whistleblower's application. Give me this case. You got 52 people going to go to jail. It's the Underground Railroad. Do your job or lose your job. That's my president. He asked for an investigation. You feel me? That's my toilet. And y'all made me famous for toilets. All right? So what I'm going to do is, that's my Christmas toilet. And everybody signed off on this. Proud daughter. All right? That's my daughter. Sierra Davis. That's shorties. I had to reinvent myself. And I have. Y'all stole me from Africa. I mean, y'all stole me from my family like y'all stole me from Africa. That's my mother. And that's my sister. And that's Africa protecting their children. You feel me? It's the shit that y'all do. I'm giving you a roundabout loop because, like I said, I got my shit together. This shows you I was making a movie, so you couldn't sue me and whatever. This is to prove I was making a movie. See the date? 2009. It was about the police. Officer Littleton. I got 52 pictures in here. You got 252 cards in there. That's Shorty's catering. All right? That's my store on Falls Road. My son stole my business, took my catering menu, and he used my menu and put his name on it. This is my menu. And we're going to show you back in 2007, 2008, this menu was recirculated and people were using it. That's my business. That's a violation of the Constitution. See that? That's Judge Souter. That's 2011. All right. Jury's entitled to review the evidence. You never let the jury, the grand jury see the, the tapes. You never let the grand jury see that. That's client privilege. I fired my lawyer and defended myself because my lawyer was working with the state to incarcerate me. I was making a movie. It's evidence. You feel me? That's received in a book called The Minority Report, respectfully submitted to the court. A replevin act, because y'all took my money. You feel me? I filed the replevin act. You feel me? I filed my paperwork. This is Exhibit 3, Zion, Illinois. Dwayne G. Davis. I was kidnapped in Zion. I was kidnapped in Maryland. Special Agent Richard McFeely. This is a follow-up to the Chicago office. You feel me? March of 86. See that? See that? This is very clear. And Judge Souter had this. Exhibit 3. Judge Souter had that. Judge Souter had that. So we get ready to play Operation Dominoes. We're going to watch your careers fall all in a row. I love the arts, art and activism. I'm an artist and I'm getting ready to get paid for my art, artistry. These are the tapes. 
Snow 2010. You feel me? These are the tapes. And that's Donald Trump, and he called in a net of lies. Donald Trump, like I said, I'm going to file a criminal charges against you because you had my whistleblower's application. You didn't do nothing. Commissioner Harris. This is North Carolina. Yeah. I got tapes all over the country. You feel me? That's the stop snitching video. And we're going to play this in court. The stop snitching video. Yeah, right here. That's Operation Dominoes. Like I said, we're going to court. Because justice is supposed to be blind, but y'all done stripped justice butt naked. Y'all done stripped justice butt naked. So I'm going to give you justice the Charlie Brown way. That's Condell Russell's signature. This toilet is going to be auctioned off for the homeless. That's Condell Russell's signature. Y'all made me famous for toilets, so we're getting ready to have a toilet tour. It's my birthday. This is a voodoo doll. And that's Martin Luther King. Alright. We're going to do it like this. That's Governor O'Malley. So we're going to unmask Brandon Scott. We're going to unmask Nick Mosby. We're going to unmask you. Because you work for. Yeah. We're going to unmask you. Like I said, I ran for office. That's me right here. And we're going to talk about campaign financing. We're going to talk about campaign financing, how they paying her. She's a political prostitute. She ain't even from here. She Allen Keys with a skirt. Y'all know what they say about the woman in the red dress. The woman in red. Yeah. She don't belong around here. And if I see her around here, I'm going to treat her around here. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this picture all over Baltimore and I'm going to show you what she didn't show you. Because see, y'all forgot about racism. Racism don't work without black cooperation. She married to a white man. She has no ties to the black community. She ain't never ate oodles and noodles. If she did, when she ate that caviar, she forgot about the oodles and noodles. She ain't coming back for y'all. She using y'all, and y'all keep letting her use you. Man, fair exchange. Same thing make you laugh, gonna make you cry. I'm gonna unmask you too. All the money that you got came from Republicans outside the state. Ain't no black people on Pennsylvania Avenue gave you no money. Y'all spend a lot of money in the black community in the Republican Party because y'all need black votes. 2021, 2022, we're going to unmask racism in the black community. We're going to show you that all black ain't black. And you ain't black, clack, clack. You gave up your blackness a long time ago. That's shorties. My meat tastes good in your mouth. Truth do too. That's the Secret Service. And I'm going to post their numbers on the on the Facebook page. Y'all came to my house and put... Y'all came to my house on more than one occasions. Y'all came to my house for President Trump. Black Lives Matter. If Black Lives Matter would have did what the white boys did, y'all would have shot and killed them. Like I said, this is for Martin. And I'm getting ready to stick you. These are pins and needles, and you on pins and needles right now. You and the Republican Party is worrying about what's going to happen. You got a lot of leadership in the Republican Party going to get stuck. Andy Harris going to get stuck. Because he participated in that sedition. Ted Cruz going to get stuck. He participated in that sedition. Gary Collins and Anderson and the GOP from Baltimore. Y'all been pushing Trump for I don't know how long. Y'all went down there on that ride. Y'all got on that bus. Y'all participated in it. Y'all called me a terrorist, but y'all participated in a terrorist act. I'm a cater. I'm a cook. And I'm going to cook you up. Y'all hit me on my page. Want to talk to me? Don't talk to me now. Because I'm getting ready to stick all y'all. President Joe Biden. President Obama asked for an investigation. So this comes back to you. On February, when you sign, you know, when you get in the inauguration on January 20th, I got first. I want to be deported. I want to give up my citizenship if I don't get justice in 2021. If I don't get justice in 2021, I'm asking for a foreign nation to take my political asylum. I'm asking for political asylum because blacks have no rights in which white America respects. You ain't going to do nothing about the killing of Breonna Taylor. You ain't going to do nothing about the injustice in the black community. 
you wrote the crime bill in 1986, so you and me got to see each other. You wrote the crime bill, Kwasi and Fumi signed off on it. The Democratic Party and racism in the Democratic Party going to be addressed. Call the Secret Service. Get my case file. Get my case file from Chicago. Get it from Baltimore. But we getting ready to unmask you. Brandon Scott, this is your life. This is where you at, Brandon. Either you're going to snitch or you're going to go to jail. There might have been a stop snitching video when they sent all them brothers to jail. Well, you sitting in the seat. You, Nick Mosby, Corey McRae, Sidnor, Speaker Jones, Delegate Stephanie Smith. I came to y'all last year with my hat in my hand. I ain't got my hat in my hand. I got mic check. I got the Constitution. And if y'all don't do something about white supremacy in the Democratic Party, then y'all black asses can go to jail. Racism don't work without black cooperation. Y'all told me, mask up, put your mask on. Shorty, put your mask on. The world is watching, and I'm going to give them something to see. That's Shorty's. That's Deron Battle signed that shirt. These are signatures of the shirt of Shorty's. You feel me? This is Shorty's. This is Shorty's. You feel me? And these people signed this shirt before I went out of town. You feel me? 44370, that's my number. Now, Kwasi and Fumi, you in a hell of a position because, see, I got you on film already. You, Sarbanes, Cummings, no, yeah, you, Sarbanes, Cummings, Cardins, Mikulski, because I gave y'all my whistleblowers application and you've been sitting on it since you got in the office. You've been sitting on it since the runoff in June. Then when I put that camera in your face in front of the post office, you start running. You, your little short dude that you work, that, that's your your liaison, your community dude, your constituent services, you, Anthony McCarthy, Dr. Bundy, Dr. Bundy, y'all got my shorty program. So when we go in front of the grand jury, make sure that you bring my paperwork from Congressman Cummings' office. On August 13th, 2019, no, August 13th, 2019, Congressman Cummings and us had a meeting. I'm a whistleblower. You got to take my case in front of the House Judiciary. We're talking about police, police brutality and justice, criminal justice 2021. I went first. I've been to Annapolis. I took Boom to Annapolis. I took Wiggins to Annapolis. Me and Brian Baith been to Annapolis. So like I said, we're going to give the world something to see. We're unmasking racism in the Democratic Party. When I holler mic check, they hear it around the world now. When I holler mic check, Governor Hogan know about it. So everything that Governor Hogan got since 2014, he got to turn over. Everything Brian Frost goes in front of the grand jury. Silence is consent. You signed for this in 2016. You're the Democratic Party. You can't use your office to protect the corruption and racism in the Democratic Party. You can go to jail. That's called collusion. See that? That's my whistleblower. She's holding my evidence. So on January 13th, 2021, this is what we're going to do. Now, Jane Miller quiet as a mouse when I put that camera in her face. She don't open her mouth because her station participated in the fraud. So did the real news. They had this since 2014. That's why Paul J won't say nothing. Eddie, Eddie Conway won't say nothing. Yeah, y'all done had this since 2014. Raleigh Hayes had it. Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle had it, and they ain't do nothing about it. Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle been getting paid to keep this under wraps because they get paid to, they get paid for it. Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle ain't leaving you in the right direction, and I'm saying that out my mouth. Now, over here, I got everything I need because Brandon, this is your life. You got a choice to make. You gonna snitch on the Democratic Party or you gonna go to jail? We're gonna unmask you today. It's the unmasking of Brandon Scott. You see that? We're gonna unmask Brandon Scott because Brandon Scott ain't nothing but Governor O'Malley's boy. Brandon Scott is Governor O'Malley's boy. He came here in 2010. Governor O'Malley, Brandon Scott, unmasking you. Mic check.